Good day. So this is uh, the New York State budget hearing that New York City Mayor Eric Adams is attending. He came to testify on behalf of uh, the needs, the financial needs for New York City. Uh, on this piece, he is being asked a question um, from a legislator regarding 3K. 3K is an early education program for three-year-olds. Um, it helps parents who uh, need or want to put their children into school early. Everyone may not want to, but for those who may want to, it's available. Uh, and also for childcare. You know, I remember um, my parents having to spend so much money on childcare uh, so they can work that it came to a point where, you know, you're paying the childcare for good quality, safe uh, childcare, sometimes as much as you're, you're, you're bringing home, right? So uh, this, this is gonna help people who want to go out into the workforce and work. Um, it may be people who just, you know, who are already working and it could put some extra money um, I'll leave some money back in their wallets. So here he is. He's going to be asked that question. He's going to talk about it. Uh, when you're moving to a city or if you're starting a family in a city, you want to find out what's available, what's going to help you, what's going to, um, what, what resources are available, what services are there for children, for seniors. And this is an added one. Uh, and then also to know that the child is getting this education, right? It is tailored uh, for them, for their age. So let's just see uh, what they're going to say about it. Uh, the city has uh, instituted Universal 3K. Uh, it's been a tremendous program. My daughter is in 3K. Uh, will we be able to continue that program moving forward? Uh, that's our goal. Uh, and one of the things that is concerning to me that when I did an analysis of our budget is that we were funding uh, permanent programs with temporary dollars. Uh, the funding from the federal government, as you know, is going to run out in 2025. Uh, it's a substantial dollar amount. Our goal is to continue universal pre-K. And I also believe we made a major error. We were funding seats and not bodies in the seats. Uh, our team went in, uh, uh, First Deputy Mayor Wright went in and did a complete analysis just to discover uh, that many of the seats we were funding did not have bodies in the seats. And so we have to be prepared in 2025 when the federal dollars that fund this program, when these dollars run out, we have to ensure that we can continue a great program of universal pre-K and is our desire to make sure every child that needs a seat gets a seat, but not to just fund a seat without a child in there. And we're calling on all of our law lawmakers. We have many uh, assembly districts, senate districts, council districts, where they have vacant seats. We're calling on lawmakers to go out and find those families that need uh, the early childhood development that comes with pre-K and 3K and assist us in filling the seats so that we can ensure every child that needs it has an opportunity to do so. So just to summarize, so even though 3K was being uh, subsidized with federal money that's going to run out, you still feel that you're going to be able to continue the program? That's our goal. Our goal is to continue the program. Our goal is to continue to make the necessary cost efficiencies, uh, but we need to be clear and honest with New Yorkers. Uh, this was a permanent program paid with temporary dollars. So we're going to be looking towards the federal government and the state to assist us when these dollars run out in 2025. That's great to hear. Thank you. And then 